Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Asian Psycho, and we're gonna get started on the second episode of the uh, 50th chapter of the 4K Arsenal series, featuring me, Asian Psycho, aka Toto Sniper 98. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the A12 Mark II, the Mark II variant of the uh, A12. If you guys didn't know that already, so um, as for review itself, um, statistically speaking, the A12. According to Commodore's Wiki, it has one more point of damage, if I'm not mistaken, and um, three points less rate of fire, and um, six points more recoil. Now, these stats don't really indicate just how uh, much better that the A12 Mark II has become over the A normal A12. Many of you seem to disagree that, um, that the A12 is indeed a piece of shit. Um, it seems that some of you out there actually do like the A12. First of all, I'd like to ask what the hell is wrong with you. Second of all, since that is your own opinion, I guess you're entitled to it. Um, but, that's that's for another video, and that's for another matter. Anyways, as I get trapped in the corner here temporarily by these two guys who get owned anyway, um, the A12 Mark II is actually a really good improvement over the A12. <laughs> Coming from the grounds that the A12 was really shitty to begin with, any upgrade, anything that they can do to it, is, it could be considered an upgrade anyway. So, um, the main the main pro about the A12 over the um, the normal A12, or the main advantage, or the main improvement, I should say, stupid English, is the fact that it has one point more inc or one point increase in damage. While this may not seem very significant. Do keep in mind, though, that th for the A12, the damage is so low that even one point more, da one point of damage is si very, very significant. In my hands, it feels a lot more powerful. I'm getting uh, c more, more and more consistent two and three shots, and um, co uh, not coincidentally, but um, accordingly or correspondingly, the damage over range has been increased as well. Um, my theory behind this is that the A when Nexon um, when you upgrade this to Mark II, what Nexon did to my A A12 Mark II is that the one point of damage stacks with every single pellet you fire. Keep in mind that um, the A12 does uh, fire six pellets at once per shell, and the A12 Mark II uh, does not change that fact. So if you are to consider that the 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 one point of damage that the A12 Mark II features over the uh, the normal A12 is indeed uh, does indeed apply to each pellet then that's essentially essentially you're adding six uh, more points of damage to the a12 mark II, and i think that's what's going on here the a12 mark II is a lot more a lot stronger than the uh, original a12 in my opinion anyway um i just get a lot more consistent kills with it um its damage um profile is is a lot more consistent and i Whenever I shoot, uh, when I, whenever I get headshots, they actually register most of the time on like the fucking AA12, where half the time the r fucking headshots don't even register. So, with that out of the way, um, the AA12 Mark II is indeed a really good improvement over the AA12. That's my opinion, though. Once again, even though I may disagree, or even if you guys disagree, you are entitled to your own opinion. So, um, yeah. Um, covering the other so uh, quote unquote disadvantages uh or the uh, the stat changes uh to the A12 Mark II um the decrease in rate of fire is actually pretty beneficial it's not it's not slow it's not slow by too much but you can still feel that the rate of fire on the A12 Mark II has been decreased however i feel that honestly it's a better it's it's actually a good thing because the A12 for me anyway the A i've had problems with using the A12 because the rate of fire would throw my aim off it's just too fast um that's what she said and um for me anyway the decrease in rate of fire is actually really good for me because it it forces me to aim or it doesn't force me to aim uh, aim better but what it does is, is it gives me more time between my shots so that i have more time to aim my shot um correctly at my target if i don't hit them square on the first time that's what i mean uh by the fact that the decrease in rate of fire isn't necessarily a bad thing on the a12 mark ii in fact it could be seen as a very good thing and um, lastly, the recoil. Honestly, I don't even know why Combat Arms Wiki has uh, says that the uh, the recoil um, on the uh, the A12 is six points higher. Um, as I get lauded by a fucking M16. Um, honestly, 
It's a shotgun, and even though it's a fully automatic shotgun, not only is the rate of fire decreased so that the recoil kickback doesn't really matter as much anymore, however, it's a shotgun, so it's, a, it's not going to fire as fast as an assault rifle, never, never, so, um, I mean, recoil, even if it's six points higher, you're still going to aim relatively well with the shotgun, it's a shotgun, you know, and, um, so, this rate of fire isn't, like, through the roof or anything that you, you can't, you suddenly can't control your recoil anymore. So, yeah, the six points increase in damage, you don't really need to worry about. That's, that's just, that's just a load of bullshit. And, um, that you can just ignore that and th toss that out of the window. So, yeah, the AA-12 Mark II. Uh, once again, this is available in the Gun Emporium, and, um, you just need to get 100 kills with the AA-12, and you get to upgrade it to the Mark II, which I honestly th uh, think that everyone should get if you guys have the AA-12, for whatever reason, it's sitting in the in inventory or inbox or whatever. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the review on the AA-12 Mark II. It is a very, very good improvement over the original AA-12. Is it a good, is it still one of the better shotguns in this game? I'm gonna say no. Because it, some of the problems that plagued the original AA-12 still kind of bleed through in the performance of the AA-12 Mark II. But overall, it's a huge improvement over the original AA-12. And um, if you if you really like the AA-12, I don't see why you wouldn't want to upgrade it to the Mark II. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, next review is going to be on the NX Ray variant of the uh, AA-12, the AA-12 Dominator. And don't worry... Um, I actually do have, I do have gameplay, and um, that person who um, let me use their dominator will be shouted out accordingly. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. You could shoot that then.